When I heard about a new Tron video game, I was pretty excited because if you remember the old Tron arcade machine from back in the day, you know how cool that thing was. You were the pimp daddy of the arcade when in control of the glowing blue Tron arcade machine. You may as well have been the last Starfighter. It was a sight to behold, and the gameplay was awesome. So any Tron video game has a lot to live up to. Tron Evolution! In 1982, Tron was decades ahead of its time. So what happens when Tron evolves? It turns into just another video game. The fact is that Tron Evolution, the video game tie-in with Tron Legacy, the 2010 film, looks awesome on the surface, but is actually about as average as it gets. The single-player campaign is a decent movie-style adventure storyline that sets your hopes up for an action-packed adventure at the beginning with some combat, and it's just a gorgeous game all around. But really let me down when it got into all of the aerial acrobatic Spider-Man Mirror's Edge kind of stuff, because the controls seem like they're optimized for combat, not necessarily jumping around and performing all of these tricks. They're a bit fiddly, and I think that gameplay is an acquired taste because of that. It's not awful, it's not broken, the game is extremely well produced, I think it looks amazing, and the sound quality is just as good. But the combat gets repetitive quickly and the wall climbing virtual web slinging just ends up becoming irritating after a while. And when you fall into the virtual abyss, which happens frequently, it just regenerates you so these jumping exercises turn into a series of trial and error events that do nothing to enhance the storyline or gameplay but do look amazing when executed properly. That's the game's strength. Visuals. If all you're looking to do is enjoy the storyline and play through the single-player campaign, I'll recommend Tron Evolution as a rental or a price drop purchase. While you level your character up and gain experience points as you play through the game, I see little replay value in the single-player mode and uh, even though visually stunning, it's still very average. Where the game packs some surprises is in its multiplayer, which is extremely well made, although like the game itself, a bit of an acquired taste. What's cool about it is they managed to pack all of the Tron stuff into multiplayer. So you're fighting with the discs, running around in combat, and riding the light cycles all at the same time against other people. It all works together really well and totally captures the spirit of Tron. Blowing people up with the tanks is fun. The combat is pretty much the same as it is in the game, it's just there's more of it and less emphasis on the irritating acrobatic stuff. You can derez your enemies by crushing them into your light cycle beams or killing them the old fashioned way with your frisbee. While this new Tron is hardly the groundbreaking game that the original was, it still captures the spirit and essence of Tron. With light cycles, frisbee battles, and glowing people that explode into bits. Sadly, the gameplay and controls don't live up to the awesome visuals, sound design, music, and style, but fans of Tron Legacy or those who think this looks cool may want to give Tron Evolution a shot. Just don't go into it expecting too much. This is new Tron after all. You don't open a can of new Coke expecting Coke classic flavor. 